Hey guys, it's me, Ryan from Illuminati. We have here the legendary voice actor Greg Baldwin himself. <laughs> hello, hello. It's good. It's good to be here today. Yes, you guys didn't know he voiced Mock, he voiced Aku from Samurai Jack, and of course Uncle Iroh from Avatar: Last Airbender series. Yes, that is correct, my friend. It was my great pleasure to voice both of those characters. Let's be honest. You're everyone's favorite uncle. Let's be honest. Yes, I know. Absolutely. I'm my own favorite uncle. <laughs> you know, and that that's the beauty of this character. Everyone loves Iroh so much. And I, I, I always knew that it was a very well-written character, but it wasn't until I started going to these cons and started meeting fans that I realized how much of an impact this character has had on people. You know, so many people will come up to me and they'll say, oh, I was going through this bad patch of my life and Uncle Iroh said this and made me feel better. And that's... That's more than just a role. That's that's way more than that. And it's you know I'm blessed and humbled that I get to be the caretaker of this wonderful role for a brief time. Excellent. So the first question is, what was the process for taking over the late Mako's two iconic voices in Aku and Michael Iroh? Well, I mean the process is very odd. I you know obviously I'm an actor. When I was a kid, I loved musicals. Mm. Uh, for, I think it was my 17th birthday, I got the original cast album of a show by Sondheim called Pacific Overtures, and it starred an actor named Mako Aramatsu. I loved this record so much. I loved the musical. I could sing along, I would sing along with the entire show. So when you flash forward to 2006 and Mako passes away, unbeknownst to me, I had been doing an impression of Mako for 30 years at that point. And that's kind of how that happened. Something something as seemingly random as that became huge in my life. Interesting. Now going to my next question is, what was your most favorite episodes to, fill, to voice as Aku and Uncle Iroh? My favorite, uh, oddly, you know what, my favorite Iroh scene was not in Avatar, it was in Legend of Korra. Oh. And when, when Korra goes to the spirit world and meets Iroh there, I, every single line is a gem. Uh, I, I, that's probably my favorite Iroh. I think probably my favorite Aku, I think, was the next to last episode. Mm. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, I, I think it was the next to last episode. And it was also, I'd been doing Aku enough that I finally thought I didn't suck at it. <laughs> so I'm listening to it and I go, okay, that's not bad, Baldwin, not bad, you know. It's not Mako, but it's not bad. So my third question is, as Aros was able to play a lot of pl proverbs. Now, can you give us three proverbs that Ira would say to the fans, if you could? Well, all right. Th that he didn't actually say, just things yeah, that... Yeah, you would say. Do not mix liquors. This is very important. <laughs> D Disney is always a prudent investment. <laughs> and, and actually... And I will use an Iroh line because this line got me through, I think not just me, but got a lot of people through the pandemic, is if you look for the light, you will often find it. If you look for the dark, that is all you will ever see. And the other, and this I have discovered to be the secret of life. It is not from Avatar. It is from the live action remake of Cinderella. Oh, okay. And it, it is the secret of life. Very few words. Have courage and be kind. Mm. If you can have courage and if you can be kind, you can get through life. You can get through just about anything. So that's that. That would be my of all. That that's my advice to live by: have courage and be kind. That's great advice. Great advice. So my final question is: Oh, my final question is: So there is a live-action Netflix series for Avatar. Yes, and they they, they did cast your uh, Uncle Iroh. Uh, understandable. <laughs> so, so what advice would you give Paul Sanyu Lee, who is now playing you, well, for the live action series? I, well, I would first of all, I can't wait to see what he does with the role. I know that when we finally see the picture of him in full mm -hmm. costume, I'm going to cry along with everybody else. <laughs> to, uh, literally, to see Iroh real in the flesh. And you know, my advice, I'm not going to presume to give him an advice. He's a wonderful actor. I would say. You're going to be surprised by how many people cry just to meet you. Mm. Because Iroh has that effect on people, you know. It, it, people get emotional talking to him. And I think, I can't, I can't wait to see it. I think he's going to be wonderful. Excellent. And we're excited for it too, so yes. Again, thank you, Greg, for taking your time with us. You are most welcome, my friend.
I'm serious about the don't mix liquors. I'm serious about that, folks. <laughs> right. Thank you, Uncle Arrow. You are most welcome, my friend. <laughs>